Hello and welcome to this lesson about sounds in Afrikaans. After you have finished this lesson, you should be able to sound out two or more letters next to each other that creates a specific sound. In this lesson, we will revise some of the words covered in the alphabet lesson. You can find the link to the alphabet lesson in the description below. The words you need to memorize for this lesson are the same as it was for the alphabet lesson. Fer, fer, for. Maklik, easy. On a scale of difficulty, the following sounds should fall in the easy category. And for any foundation phase teachers or parents who have children in the foundation phase, easy should be suited for grade 1s, medium for grade 2s and difficult for grade 3s. This makes the sound ear, ear, ear ver leer, ear ver leer, uur, uur, uur ver ruis, uur ver ruis, ah, ah. A fer nam. A fer nam. U. U. U fer fir. U fer fir. U. U. U fer kuk. U fer Ear, 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 fair, dear, ear, fair, dear. Oh, 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 fair, po, oh, fair, po. E, 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 fair, tear. I fer tir. Oi. Oi. Oi fer mois. Oi fer mois. Medium. And in English, it's also medium. On a scale of difficulty, the following sounds should fall in the medium category. A, A, A fer fontein, A fer fontein. Now this sound can become quite confusing because it sounds exactly the same as the letter Y, A. So spelling mistakes like the following can happen quite easily. Fontein instead of Fontein. Activiteit instead of activiteit. Ace instead of ace. I. I. I ver cry. I ver cry. Oi. Oi. Oi ver roi. Oi. Fer roi. And you can take it a step further and say roi ruis. Roi ruis. Red rose. Ui. Ui. Ui fer qui. Ui fer qui. Iu. Iu. Iu fer Liu, you fer liu, muilak, hot. On a scale of difficulty, the following sounds should fall in the hot category. 
The letters N and G together makes the sound N. 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 Fer. Slang. N. Fer. Slang. The letters N and K together makes the sound Hunk. 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 Fer. Unk. Nk fer nk fer fer and this can also be difficult because you can confuse the sound fer with the word from the word list fer 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 verband fer fer verband fer fer verband ge Ge, ge, ver, geschenk. Ge, ver, geschenk. B, 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 ver, beskijt. B, ver, beskijt. R en G. The sounds R and G. So some of you said that you have difficulty with pronouncing the letter R. So let's look at the letters R and G because they can both be quite tricky to pronounce. For the G sound, you can try and replicate a cat that is angry, you know, when they hiss. Like, <sighs> So the very first thing to do is to relax and to help you relax I'm going to tell you a story from my life. I'm going to tell it in Afrikaans so make sure you've turned on your subtitles on YouTube so that you can follow along in English. Let me quickly show you how. So what you want to do, you want to look for the gear button in the bottom right hand corner. Go to it and click on it. Then look for subtitles or CC. Click on the arrow. Click on English. And then you'll see the English subtitles. So then you can follow along in English while I'm speaking Afrikaans. Okay, so the story. Lang terug, ek denk ek was in het vij, nou groot 7, het ek baie by my vriende in die dorp gaan keier. En my vriende was die predikantse kinder, twee meisies en een sien. En die een dag het die predikantse vrou ons gevra om iets vir een Engelse tanny te vat, wat daar nabij bly. En ek ondou ons moes nog oploop met een baas stijl jewel. Toe ons daar kom, het ons Engels met die tanny gepraat, want sy kon nie rarig Afrikaans praat nie. Maar daai tyd was my Engels nog baie slag. Die tanny sê toe vir ons, Do you know how I know you are Afrikaans even when you are speaking English? En ons sê toe nie, ons weet nie. En sy het gesê, I know you are Afrikaans because of the way you say your R's when you speak English. You pronounce your R's the same way in English as you do in Afrikaans. So, ons so byvoorbeeld sê, the car is broken, instead of the car is broken. Or, you are my friend, instead of you are my friend. Gosh, ek kan nie eers meer so praat nie. So, van daar die dag af het ek opgehou om my arre in Engels uit te spreek, soos wat ek dit in Afrikaans uitspreek. En ek moet sê, dit het my Engels onmiddellik baie verbeter. Ok, so now for the R sound, you can start off with some exercises. So the first exercise you can try is to pretend that you are playing with toy cars and say, Vroom, 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 vroom. And the second exercise you can try is to goggle water. 
and replicate this sound. And then I found a video. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> to make her sounds are quite embarrassing. Okay, anyway. And then I found a video that I think will be quite helpful. It explains how you control your R's. You can find the link to this video in the description below. Activitat, activity. I've created some worksheets that you can use for self-study or if you are a foundation phase teacher, you can use it for your class. You can print out these worksheets or type in your answers on the PDF itself. These specific worksheets are free and you can find the link to them in the description below. But note that future worksheets like these might not always be free. I may charge a small fee for some of them for my time and effort. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next lesson.